found a um, woodland kingfisher, which is still around, which is quite interesting. So um, let's have a look at that quickly, because that's a beautiful view of a woodland kingfisher, that beautiful iridescence. And it is still around. I wonder when it is going to leave. Fairly soon, I'm sure. I think it's almost April, April, May. And then they eventually disappear and migrate north. Let's see if he turns his head though. It's a beautiful view, very, very close. You can see it's a, the feathers are a little ruffled, and that would have been from the rain. And got a bit wet, so often what birds do is they try to puff their feathers up, ruffle the feathers, that helps dry them out a bit. There's that orange beak just. Hopefully it turns its head again. That's a lovely view of a woodland kingfisher. I can hear many of the quails. Speaking of all the birds around, many of these quails around us. And I think they would be very, very active now after this this rain that we had. That booming sound of the quails, the courage chain button quails. Um, this bird does not want to turn around. <laughs> that bird doesn't want to turn around for us, unfortunately, but what a lovely little view. So, as I said, all these little gadgets and gizmos that we have in the tent make it very exciting. It's nice to be back in here. Nice, very kind of James to allow us in his tent. 